Numbers don't tell you a huge amount because one year at say 11 Beaumet, your Sav Blanc's got, you know, fantastic flavours, riper, tropical sort of spectrum. And then the following year at 11 Beaumet, it's still, it's green. It's a constant, um, you know, process of just walking vineyards. You just got to constantly walk the vineyards. You've got to look at your numbers and refer back to them. But, you know, once you've, you know, been in the winemaking industry, and you've been a winemaker for a lot of time, you're really relying on your, your instincts. So Amelia Park, we started um, back in 2009. So uh, Amelia Park's a partnership, as I said, between myself and my wife. We have a, a business partner, a local uh, businessman down here. That's where we've seen a real opportunity down here is to se secure some really um, well-established, um, well-known, great producing vineyards. I think the other thing that we always talk about with Amelia Park and a bit of the philosophy behind it is that we do have a bit of a nod to the past with the old world winemaking techniques, but very much a view to the future and some of those um, you know, technologies of the future. So it's blending those two things together. I think for us, first and foremost, um, Quality is always going to be um, the first thing we think about when we're growing the brand. So, uh, you know, we've had a great start um, and I think that has been due to quality and, and, and Jeremy's um, expertise as a winemaker. I definitely think, you know, the backbone of our brand has always been Cabernet. Um, but I think we're making inroads into other styles with, you know, Jeremy's very passionate about Chardonnay. Um, I'm passionate about drinking Chardonnay, so <laughs> it works well. So it all comes down to you've got to have the right site, you've got to have the right vintages, um, and you've got to have the right uh, varietal selection as well, I guess, to produce, produce great, great wine. My, my philosophy is it really does, it's in the vineyard and that, like I was saying at the start, you have to have the best fruit to be making the best wine so that's why we uh, spend so much time with the vineyards and securing you know, not only this particular site but other vineyards we've had under long term contract uh, so that as a winemaker I don't have to do too much to that, um, to those, those grapes when they come in, it's already, you can see the, the brilliance that's going to come from the vineyard and it's just up to me to manage it in the vineyard and um, hopefully produce a fantastic wine at the end of it.